me first point out that modern times call for modern methods. We storks... Uh, uh, well, Oliver, late again, I see. I I'm sorry, sir, but, but, but I just delivered... I, I just delivered my first baby! Well, Oliver, I was about to say, we can no longer simply deliver the product. We must furnish instruction on its maintenance, too. Now, um, cleanliness is most important to baby's health. So let's discuss the daily bath. There are several approved methods of bathing a baby. Some mothers use a bathinette, a compact bathing unit with many conveniences. Others prefer a lap bath technique, which permits mother to sit down during the bath. Then there's the tabletop bath. This is the type we'll demonstrate, since it's easily adapted to any home. To set the stage, we'll choose a room that's comfortably warm, with the temperature between 75 and 80 degrees. Since regularity is important, the bath should come at the same hour every day, just before the mid-morning feeding is a good time. The door should be closed to prevent drafts and to avoid interruption. Of course, the window should be closed too, and there should be plenty of good light. For bath equipment, We'll start with the kitchen table. If necessary, we can protect the top with newspapers or a covering of oilcloth. Our bathtub is the sturdy, easy-to-clean enamel type. Next comes the bath tray. Our tray is really a cookie sheet, but any similar tray would do just as well. The first item on the tray will be a covered jar filled with cotton balls. Next, another jar containing small and large cotton swabs. Both these jars, by the way, are sterilized jelly glasses. Then mother will need a bottle of pure baby oil. Or many mothers are now using the new baby lotion. And some mothers prefer to use baby powder. Over here, is a covered dish containing bland baby soap. And another cake of soap to hold safety pins. Finally, we'll add a small flat dish to hold the baby oil or lotion for today's bath. And, uh, oh yes, mother should have a small paper bag with the top folded down, like this. It's a handy receptacle for used cotton and swabs. At this end of the table, we've placed a clean, folded blanket. And now we cover it with a large, soft bath towel. This is baby's pad, comfortable and firm. Next, a straight back chair placed in this position will serve as a safety measure and also as a clothes rack. Clean clothes are hung in this order. First, baby's gown. Next, a fresh diaper. Then, a clean shirt, a wrapping blanket, and a washcloth. The seat of this chair, covered with newspapers, is ready to receive soiled clothes. Well, that's all there is to it. Here's the complete equipment for our tabletop bath. Calling Dr. Oliver Stork, calling Dr. Oliver Stork. Your appointment at 802 Maple Street was for 8 o'clock. It is now 10.30. Smith baby due, urgent. Good heavens, I almost forgot. Quiet, gentlemen, we must continue. Now it's time for mother to give her hands a thorough scrubbing and make sure they're free of any sharp, scratchy jewelry. Next, she fills baby's tub about one third full with clear, warm water. Mother tests the water with her elbow to see that it's comfortably warm. Then mother pours a small amount of oil into the little dish. Or if she prefers baby lotion, she uses that instead. And now comes a word of caution. Safety first. During the bath, mother will stand in this position 
and never leave baby alone on the table. Well, my friends, everything is ready. And so it becomes my great pleasure to introduce the baby. Oops, the baby. <laughs> uh, kitchy kitchy poo. <coughs> uh, perhaps we uh, we should be more technical about this. Uh, study the subject in diagram. There, that's much better. Now, when mother handles the infant, her grip should be firm but gentle. Observe that one hand lifts. The other supports. When baby is on the table, he should be warmly covered at all times. To begin the bath, mother folds the loose ends of the washcloth into her palm, like this. Then she uses clear, clean water from the tub and proceeds to wash baby's face. She washes each eye, rinsing the cloth between operations. And pays special attention to the nose and ears, too. Afterwards, a loose corner of the bath towel is used to pat baby's face dry. Next, her free hand supports baby's head, like this. Then she works up a lot of good suds. And now, using the palm of her hand, mother rubs the lather well into baby's scalp. <gasps> oh, my, my. <clears throat> uh, to continue, when it's time for rinsing, mother needs a firm grip, like this football hold. It's safe and secure. The washcloth is used for rinsing. The mother is careful to protect baby's eyes and ears from soapy water. For drying the head, another corner of the bath towel is used. Bathing baby's body comes next. So after the gown is removed, the diaper is unpinned. And the pin stuck in the bar of soap safely out of baby's reach. The soiled diaper may be left for the time being on the newspaper covered chair. And a ball of cotton dipped in oil or lotion will cleanse baby's buttocks if they are soiled. Next, mother again tests the temperature of the bath to make sure it's just right. Then she again works up a good lather. With her soapy hand, she goes over baby's entire body. Arms, chest, legs. Uh, gentlemen, uh, remember the creases. Creases are most important. They should be soaked thoroughly, both front and back. All right, baby's all ready for the tub now. Mother keeps a good firm grip to prevent slipping. Slowly, feet first, in he goes. Say, I wonder if baby's enjoying this. Why, he's having the time of his life. And mother rinses his chest and arms and tummy, and then she rinses his back until all the soap is gone. But soon the fun is over. And before he knows it, baby's being thoroughly dried from top to bottom. Oiling baby comes next. And here's a large swab that's been dipped in either baby oil or lotion. Mother lightly moistens her fingers from it. And beginning behind the ears, she oils all the skin folds. And mother doesn't miss a single crease. For red, raw creases can be very painful. Next, a small swab dipped in oil or lotion is used to cleanse the genitals. Now with the oiling finished, mother drops the bath towel to the chair and replaces it with a clean, dry wrapping blanket. Well, all that remains is to put on baby's shirt, then his diaper, pinned snugly in place, then his little gown. And now, with the bath over, mother once more wraps our baby in his soft, warm blanket. Well, gentlemen, that's all there is to it. A simple version of baby's daily bath. Ha <laughs> ha!
<laughs> Congratulations, Oliver. What? Quiet, gentlemen. Now back to work. And remember what the doctor says. A clean baby is a happy baby.